Hello everyone. The time has come to to raise some more. Uh, Gran Turismo 7 again. It looks like it took over my gaming life. That's because it's a good game. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, we will start with... Um, I think that it's a carousel of despair. Um, I did some non non campaign driving today just to play around, and uh, I did enough miles to do the uh, driving marathon. So let's see. Uh, so far, I got <coughs> the wars rework every single time. So to continue. The streak. Let's get. Let's give me the worst possible reward. As always, here we go. Polyphony digital bullshit. That's what it is. But yeah, who cares? Uh, what you cannot win, you can buy in this game, and they won't see a penny more from me. License center and um, national A license. That's the one I'm missing. So, how many there are? 10. 10, ten tests to get the license, uh, starting with the beginner racing line, beginner one, Tsukuba circuit in uh, Subaru, BRZ STI Sport 2018. A four year old car. Well, hopefully, it's a new one. Uh, okay, A1 is a racing line, beginner one, where you will learn the fundamentals of out in out. Cool. You've heard of out in out, right? There is the basic idea when cornering. Start on the outside, move to the inside of the truck at the middle of the corner, then the outside again when you leave. Be sure to use the whole width of the truck when doing this. Doing so allows you to corner without slowing down. The aim of this challenge is to show that you've grasped the out in out idea. Are you ready? Let's go. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's not waste more time. Uh, quite a motor car, so ABS is on. I'm actually going to check quickly if, in fact, everything is uh, as expected, because I was sticking around today. So manual, ABS, weak, traction control off, everything else is on off. Um, display settings should be for as they were. Yeah, okay, nothing has been changed, so... So retry because I actually slowed down. Um, okay, I cannot go dead wide. Wasted. Lovely, right? Lovely. A good spin. Not even sure why I messed up the first one. Would it would have been done, and we would be the next one already. I guess that's barely. Nice, congratulations getting gold, that was really, really good. It was good enough, I would say, to get the gold. I don't care about anything else. Okay, so the next one. You don't need advice from me, you've got gold already, why not compete against your friends on the ranking boards? No, that would be a waste of time. There are no rewards for that, so why would I do that? <laughs> Okay, next one. So what do we have here? Uh, A2 is a racing climb, beginner 2, in which you will take two corners using the out-in-out out method. Now it's time to use the out-in-out out technique from A1 on consecutive corners. The two 90-degree corners should both be taken using this method. 
Make sure you slow down sufficiently before entering the first corner. Okay, the only thing I don't know is how much should I break down to be sufficient enough, right? And of course, it switched between, uh, I put in the fourth, it put me on the second. Uh, so, the stick messed this up for me. Let's try again. Hopefully this time it happened again bloody hell how many times ah oh, the stupid gearbox I missed needs to start using the puddles I'm not really sure what is going on here Okay, at least this time it was the fourth gear, but it wasn't good enough for gold. I think I'm breaking too late, uh, too early. Let's try again. And that was good enough. Nice, congratulations getting gold, that was really really good. So first, uh, at the first few tries I was breaking too early and of course I had a problem with the stick. Uh, ah, that's a good coffee. But it started working fine later on. Let's see anything to say. You don't need advice from you, okay. Cool, next one please. So what's the next one? It's the beginner, uh, the racing line beginner free. So it's still all about the racing line. Shouldn't that be like the first thing to teach someone a racing line? Anyway, uh, take the corners at different speeds. Okay, I'm going to do it. I wasn't a big of a device. Take the corners at different speeds. Great, we're at Monza. Feels like the car is not being able to do that on the third gear. Maybe it is, I don't know. Nice. First try gold, done. Done and dusted. Sure it can be done better, but who cares, right? Uh Next one. So, um, urban trucks. One, Tokyo Expressway. The most hated truck by me so far in Gran Turismo 7. Had a lot of bad experience with it. Uh, A4 is an urban truck. Urban trucks one, where you will learn to drive without colliding with walls. As you can see, this truck has walls on both sides, so you'll need to be careful not to hit them. Uh, you'll be immediately disqualified if you collide with a wall. Be sure to keep your distance, at least at first. Okay, let's try it. I think that was unnecessary for me to break here, or whatever.
Oh wow, that was really bad. Okay, again. I'm not sure what to do with that first corner. Can I go full throttle there or not? Like here, can I go full throttle? Probably not, right? No, I cannot, but it was worth... It was worth trying. Um, And that was second gear again, how lovely. Ah. Okay, I think I can do it on the fourth gear, just uh, a little bit slower. Ah, that was too fast. I said that the most hated truck by me. Kept it too long on the third. So, last time I braked here, I don't think I have to. Oh! Okay, I still think I don't have to break there, just uh, I need to negotiate that corner better. It's a lot of, uh, oh no, I had a fourth gear. It's a lot of a guessing game here for me with this, with this truck. For fuck's sake, seriously. 250 pounds uh, worth of equipment, just breaking up. One would expect a bit more from Fanatec. Two times in a row. I can't understand uh, burst up in frustration from his last race when his DRS wasn't working. I'm having the same with my gearbox today. Um, okay. No, not exit. I'm going to twist the puddles. Uh, I'm annoyed with that uh, gearbox at that stage. I'm also going to use the left uh, foot braking. Yeah, fourth gear was definitely a better option here. I'm putting fifth, fifth gear here, and it was straight away done. That's the difference between puddles and the manual H shifter. Nice conversation between gold, that was really, really good. Cool. Let me forget about this one. Uh, next one, please. Um, so, that is uh, circuit the spa Franco champ cornering into a wet beginner. 
Uh, Nissan 180SX Type X96. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's back to the H shifter. Hopefully, it won't disappoint this time. A5 is a cornering in the wet beginner. The key thing is being ready to break a lot earlier. Okay, it's time for you to start learning how to deal with wet trucks. Needless to say, wet trucks are very slippery. You need to brake early and be careful with your acceleration. Okay. Enough said, right? That was too fast. Uh, one thing I want to change. Uh, in this car, I want to disable ABS and retry. Retry. Yeah, ABS icon shows it's off. Almost. Just the fact that I was on uh, neutral didn't help. Okay, let's have a sixth gear. I think it's being worse and worse with the shifter. Um, Well, if everything worked, it was gold, so that's good. Nice translation is getting gold, that was really, really good. Thank you. Also, I should have made that load so harder for ABS, but yeah, whatever, it's done. Uh, cool. Uh, next one, please. And that's going to be Alfa Romeo 4C at um, Arturo Martin Le Monza Consecutive Corners Beginner 1, Ascari Chicane. A6 is Consecutive Corners Beginner 1, where you will learn how to deal with Monza's Variant Ascari Corner. In this challenge, you will learn how to deal with Consecutive Corners. Use the whole width of the track and imagine that you're connecting the apex of each corner with a smooth line. I'll try to do that. Uh, one of the things I want to do... Let's go back to having ABS in that car. And let's drive. Have I don't know if it has pedals or not. Doesn't matter. Nice, congratulations getting gold. That was really, really good. Yeah, I don't want to watch replace. Uh, perfect. Next one, please. So, BMW M3 O3 uh, at Barcelona. That's also consecutive corners beginner. Two. It's going smooth so far, more or less, if not the issues with my stick. A7 is consecutive corners beginner 2. It takes place on the circuit de Barcelona Catalunya in my beloved Spain. This challenge features consecutive corners uh, just like A6. 
use the accelerator to control your car. And I guess that's a lot of control with BMW. I failed that control. That won't be a good time. Good enough to get gold, thank you very much. And the next one, please. That's some big truck. Uh, that's Toyota, right? Tundra TRD Pro 19, Colorado Springs Lake. Uh, dirt driving beginner. I don't know much about dry, uh, their driving, so so let A8 is the dirt driving beginner where you will feel the difference between a thermac and the dirt surface. It's time to get dirty. This challenge involves driving a big tundra along a challenging dirt truck. The truck is to, the trick to driving in dirt is to start steering early. You will need to make. Oh, I'm sorry. I was so close to sneezing, super close. You will need to make a good use of the steering wheel to control the direction of the car. Okay, cool. Let's make a good use of steering wheel. I wanted to say that it wasn't that hard, but it's just silver, so uh, clearly it was harder than I expected. Uh, let's try again. I'm not sure where I messed up, to be honest. That's a bit wide. <laughs> okay, I'm being conquered by um, by that truck and by that truck. I messed up uh, straight at the beginning. I should have started with the third gear already on. That's way oh that's way too wide. And I even did, I even put the white person. Oh I just switch off, bloody hell. It's so annoying. Not a good start, definitely not a good start. That's the closest to gold I got so far. Clearly, I'm not a good dirt driver. Finally good enough to get the bloody gold. 
but that was more, even though it was their driving, yeah, I tried to drive more like on the racetrack. Nice, contraction getting gold, that was really, really good. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Didn't feel like really, really good. But I'll take it. Uh, okay, good. Uh, next one then, please. That's a nice car. Honda NSX Type R 92 Suzuka Circuit 89 Hairpins. Or just one, actually. One hairpin. Uh, A9 is a uh, hairpins don't go too early on the accelerator. Uh, this challenge will teach you how to deal with hairpins using the famous one at Suzuka as an example. The basics are more important than ever on hairpin bands. Slow down properly and enter the corner. Then accelerate smoothly as soon as your car is facing the exit. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Maybe. Maybe it will, maybe I won't. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to be third gear. Was third gear. Ah, oh, that car is so cool. It wasn't good enough for gold, but the car is still cool. And it has the wheel on the right side. That's a bonus. Just, just barely. But I actually have to retry it. Because that car that should be done without ABS, so I want to try it without ABS, with a bit harder load cell. did it uh, with ABS, which I'm happy with. Thank you. Okay, so the next one. Forget to click that X button again. The next one is the last one, final exam. Um, you've, you've made the grade for A1 through A9, nice work. You're now eligible to take the final exam, A10. I'm sure it will be a piece of cake for you, but good luck anyway. So, Toyota Supra, RZ, RZ, whatever you say it, 97, Autopolis International Racing Course Fantasy Bullshit, and uh, Racing Lines Basics, okay. All right, you're now ready for the National A License final exam, pass this exam and the license is yours. In the graduation test, use everything you, you have learned until now. I don't remember anything, by the way. Connect each corner smoothly and stabilize the car with the brake and the throttle. When you finish, there is a national, national A license waiting for you. I hope you do well. I hope I do well too. Let's see if I can do well. I'm not doing well. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is the ABS off? I think it is. Well, it should be, I think, with that car. Okay. I don't think they were teaching me dr how to drift. Um, I reduced to the second too early. If I have to reduce the second at all, I don't know that. Let's find out again. So easy to lose it here on the braking.
the worst part is I don't know what my time is while I'm driving, so it's like, am I still within the scope or not? Okay, obviously I wasn't this time. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. So going to the second gear on that, let's try starting from fourth, on that um, first corner was a mistake. Oh, I put that accelerator a bit too early. Finally, that was enough. Okay, that's the final test, final gold. Uh, please give me my rewards. <sighs> Breaking without ABS and changing those gears is just bloody tricky. But it's so much fun when it works well. Um, National A license acquired, thank you very much. Okay, so that's my first reward, right? That uh, Sirocco. Congratulations on receiving your national A license. A new gift card has been sent to your garage. Okay, almost, almost level ten. I don't know if I really need that for whatever the reason, but yeah. And uh, and Subaru. Okay, I think I'll have Toyota, which is, which is pretty much the same thing, right? The GT eighty six and that's Subaru. Nice work, you've earned gold in every challenge. A new gift card has been sent to your garage to us a reward. Cheers mate, and the level 10. Level up, your collector level has increased. Beyond the horizon is now open. Oh, that's a new mission. Next door, okay. Congratulations, Coex is on acquiring a national A license. My name is Igor Fraga. I'm a Gran Turismo driver from Brazil, but I actually grew up in Japan when I was little. I'm responsible for seeing you through the International B license. Once you clear all the requirements for this new test, you'll be issued your new license. We'll guess through this together. Shit, sounds like I'm sick or something and he will help me to get through that together. Didn't sound good, seriously. Uh, oh my gosh, Corvette, such a beautiful car. Oh, the old Ferrari, yeah, never liked it. But I like the Lexus. Uh, my least favorite uh, Skyline, I prefer the previous 33 and even more 32, or maybe 33 more, one of those two. Um, Evolution, yeah, Lancer is always nice. Uh, that BMW is ugly. Taycan, uh, that is the only electric car I really like. And that Porsche just nailed it. The design is beautiful. AMG, you cannot go you cannot go wrong with AMG. That V8 sounds amazing. That's ugly. That's all I can say about it. And 32, that's beautiful. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, but it's not time for that license yet. I'll wait for it once they tell me to do it. I got two cars here, so I want to just have a look if they were delivered. Right? I don't want to be cheated out of my two cars. Polyphony Digital cheats cheat, cheat me out of the rewards in the carousel of roulette. Uh, sorry, uh, in the roulette of despair. So I just want to make sure they don't teach me out of uh, cheat me out of those cars. Here we go. They are here. 
And let's have a look what they have here. Try your hand at some new missions. I could. Beyond the horizon. Why there is just the magic mountain just shows one little thingy there? Does it mean there is oh there are more here? Okay. That's amazing. Okay, that's that's super cool. I don't necessarily feel like doing them now. Uh, I'm feeling like doing the championship now, which I have to do for my um, Gran Turismo Cafe book menu 16, 17, or whatever it is. Okay, I'm confused. I really am. Uh, what do they want me to do exactly in the cafe? I feel lost. Trial Mountain Cup. Yes, I was sure it's that. So start it. For this menu, I'd like you to go to the World Circuit and enter the Trial Mountain Cup. The race will take place in the middle of the National Park, surrounded by the wondrous American wilderness. It's a race that requires quite a lot of skill. As such, you need to hold a national license in order to enter. Just made it, just specifically for that. Specifically for that. If you don't hold a national license, yes, I do. Uh, once you've earned, yes, I did. Uh, your aim is to finish. The top three, everyone in the cafe will be rooting for you. Thank you very much. I will be having a coffee. Well, we should, should be having a beer at the picnic rather than coffee at that time. Oh, that's cool. Just um, makes me think that that race is very ecologically not friendly. I mean, racing loud cars in the middle of some kind of national park, scaring animals, scaring birds, and polluting it with the... That cannot be good, can it? That, that game just... That game should be promoting, you know, electrical cars, Formula E, and instead they're promoting killing animals with the noise of the cars. I'm just joking, but yeah, kinda. Maybe I'm not. You never know. So what I need, I need a road car, an American car. I have plenty of nice American cars. What is the requirement for that thingy? Um, the camera hides it. 600, okay, so I need something powerful. 600, I have 500, mm -hmm. That's the Camaro, that's very 600. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I drove this one, I drove this one. I would like to drive something different. I'm thinking maybe that Camaro. I would tune it a little bit. Um, yes, that's. I think that's a fair thing to do. American car within the 600 range. Um, I could also tune that Boss Mustang. That's a nice car, right? I think I would enjoy driving that. Um, yes, let's do that. We need to bring it to 600 pp. We are at 496. I'm falling asleep, bloody hell. Uh, it's not because of the game, the game is good. Yeah, I'll go semi-racing for... That's interesting. I thought they were 3,000 yesterday for some cars. Today they did 8,000 for that car. Mm. Inflation, I guess, right? Uh, inflation. That car is heavy. Uh, let's go with reducing some... Oh, fuck's sake. So annoying. Um, let's go with reducing the weight first. Uh, we need to go stage by stage. So, here we go. 200 kilometers. 200 kilograms gone. Um... <clears throat> That's expensive, expensive. Uh, let's go with the racing intercooler. That gives me nothing, really. Wow. What does it tell me about this? This is a high capacity racing intercooler that's really effective at reducing power loss caused by heat. If you're looking to get the most out of turbocharging, a good cooling system is an absolute must. Okay, does it mean it's not working well because it's naturally a spirited car? I don't know. 
Racing exhaust man manifold. That gives me almost nothing for 3,750. Okay, you know what? I want those brakes. Um, give me the brakes. 8,000, and that's quite a lot. Oh, give me better tires. What do I have at the moment in that car? I have sports hard. Mm, that's quite good, right? I could go sports soft. That would increase it by a lot. Wow, okay. Sports medium. Yeah, okay, I'll go sports soft. That's 6,000 gun. What's an extreme range? Probably something extremely pricey. Okay, so uh, racing air filter, it gives me nothing again. That's really funny. Does it not even increase the power of the car? Uh, it does actually. So why does it, does it not, why, there is no increase in the performance point. I don't understand. Okay, how about this one? Oh, that, that changes nothing. That changes a little bit. Wow, that gives a lot of power, bloody hell. That's very little increase in performance points, but when it comes to power, that's extra 160 horsepower. Max torque goes hugely up. 30% extra. Weight to power ratio, obviously amazing. 1.1 kilogram less. Uh, that's really interesting. That is a small increase, but overall it's cheap. Those brakes uh, parts, yeah. Let's give me the let's give me the racing brake parts. Brake balance controller. I don't really need that at that stage. Suspension wheel is nice, but that's super expensive. Um, okay, so let's go one less here, one down. And see what we can get here in the reasonable price. Semi-racing clutch and flywheel for 6,000. That's not too expensive, but gives it very little. Um, I don't think it's worth it. Semi-racing silencer. Uh, that is a slight increase of everything for 8,000, which I'm happy to install. Fully customizable computer. Yeah, I mean, that's a good improvement in terms of horsepower. Uh, okay, club sports. What do we have here? We've got bore up. That's uh, that's quite a big change. But let's go with the suspension. That's always good, right? No matter what. Okay. Uh, Two-way LSD is one way down. One way LSD is also down. Maybe because it should go with other parts. Um, Power restrictor, I don't need at the moment, I don't ballast. Uh, close ratio transmission, high and low. That car, we probably have a problem with transmission. So upgrading that might be a good idea. I think I'll take it. Let me just check something. What's in sport? We have... That's interesting because that reduces everything, but increase the... Oh, that game is really strange. Really, really. Uh, I already have a suspension better than this one. So I don't want anything from sport. Um, That's a slight improvement, but let's do it. That's quite a big improvement. The max, to max torque is uh, being reduced, which means I'm losing a little bit of acceleration. The power goes up, which means I'm gaining max speed. And if that is happening, I'll definitely need uh, a better... Oh, now this is improvement. That's why I said, it needs to give different parts, right? What's the difference between these two parts? I really don't know. An LSD restricts the movement of the differential gear. This one-way LSD only works when you accelerate. 
It improves acceleration out of corners, but makes it harder to turn. Don't accelerate till you're facing the right way. Okay, and the two-way, because they cost the same. This LSD works when you're accelerating and deaccelerating, so it will feel like the car really doesn't want to turn. This upgrade makes the car super stable, but harder to handle. This makes it well suited for drifting, which is all about controlling the car when it's off balance. Okay, so maybe I just should get uh, one way right. Yeah, that sounds like the things to get thing to get at that stage. Uh, sports clutch and flywheel. Um, yeah, why not do sports brake kit? I already have a good brake kit, right? I'm surprising that doesn't influence the car in any way. Um, and I wanted that transmission. And hopefully this is a good choice. I don't know. We'll see. I spent quite a lot of money on that car. Uh, let's give it a try on the truck. Cool. Hopefully it's not a waste of money, all those upgrades. I'll be switching to Camaro, then I'll be really angry. <clears throat> okay, so which car do I have? The right one. Car settings, sport softs. Uh, okay, that all looks good. Enter. Took some time to upgrade this car, unfortunately. But uh, that's the way. So that will be one way in reverse, right? Just two laps. Come on, I think we're at that stage when they can increase the number of laps. Just two laps is just hardly... You can hardly call it a race, two laps. What is two laps? Jesus, I could walk two laps around the track. Settings. No, uh, I wanted settings, but the assistance. Uh, ABS off, that car didn't have ABS, so that's good. What do they have to say? Solis. Taken any good photos in scapes recently, Quelxus? Want to know why I love racing? I love it because racing games were the first kind of video game I ever played. By the way, I would like to give you a little tip. Okay, It's simple, but very important. Be careful both when accelerating and braking. Are you familiar with the concept of partial throttle? It's all about using degrees of acceleration that is not simply Thirteen the throttle as an off-on button. Wilk. Good day, I'm Adam Wilk. I've been crazy about cars ever since I was five years old. I used to cut out pictures from the classic classy field section of the paper and put them in the scrapbook. Back then my favorite type of car was Ford. Type of car, I think you mean a manufacturer. Trial Mountain is a truck that's surrounded by lots of and lots of tall trees. They're called giant sequoias, apparently. So what, are we in uh, Yosemite Park? Been there? Nice place. A forest like this is bound to be home to all sort of wildlife, don't you think? That's what I said earlier. We're scaring wildlife with our loud engines. That car without without clutch and with puddles it's just too simple. At the same time that race is challenging and requires precision and a single mistake means I lose. And it's always that fourth gear, I think I'll have nightmare because of it. I don't know what happened there. That was the first time. Okay, so now it's doing with uh, 3 and 5 as well. I put 5, but it put me on 3rd. Interesting.
Well, at least he didn't do it on braking. times that gear didn't register such a waste of time and a position because I was the second Finally, and properly with the proper gearbox, stick and a clutch. And I still had some problems with the bloody thing, but that was just the first race out of two. And took me much longer than it should. But it was a lot of fun, well, when it worked. <sighs> This the money are good. I recovered it 18,000 for the gearbox. To the next race. Now, the other way around, right? I don't know the truck the other way around. Okay, uh, do they have anything else to say? I recently got my hands on an old BMW M3, so I'm thinking of entering the next European race. I find tuning cars to be a lot of fun. Just don't forget, if you buy a used car, it's a good idea to go to GT Auto and change the oil. Winning race is important, but it isn't everything. Far more important is the respect we all need to show each other on the track. Avoiding collisions, allowing enough space for other cars. Let's stay aware of each other and drive carefully. Okay, yeah, okay. That's what I'm trying to do. That was sudden elevation change. And that was enough to totally oversteer.
had to go uh, from very inside position to this corner. You know, to crash into the Mustang. It wasn't the best position. It should, should be going from outside, but it was what it was. So, old Mustang versus Camaro versus Viper. and dust it. I would be really hard to do in the stick. It's a win, but there's, uh, I don't feel satisfied winning that way on the puddles. Um, I'll take the credits though, that'll be useful to have. Okay, so I have three cars to choose and I don't really care about any one of them, so just, yeah, take the left one. Oh, this one is nice actually, it wasn't too bad. Sylvia is ugly, and uh, Fair Lady, I'd prefer the 180. Cool. At least I was lucky with the car, I'm not lucky with the roulette. Okay, I think it's time to take a break from Gran Turismo 7. I'm really angry uh, about a shifter causing a lot of issues today. And let's just go to cafe and see uh, what they're going to tell me. Well done for winning the trial Mountain Cup. That's an excellent result. I actually received a message from an American who watched the race. He wants you to pay a visit to his new shop. It's called Legend Cars, and I hear he's keeping it open for you. Why don't you head on over there once you've picked up your reward? Sarah should be able to give you more details. Okay. 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 Nissan Sports Cars, that's for, that is for the next time. Um, wow, we're going far. East to Legend Cars is now open. Okay, let's have a look there. A very exclusive collection of legendary cars available to buy. Probably very super hyper expensive. I heard that the prices of the cars uh, are decided by Haggerty, as we can see here. Uh, this is a special dealership known only to a handful of collectors and accessibility for even fewer. Legend Cars offers a limited number of highly sorted after collectible cars from the 20th century. Um, along with a few iconic cars that have made their name on race trucks around the world. I can't wait to see what they have to offer us today. So yeah, I was told that those prices depend on the prices of the real life cars. Hello, welcome to the Haggerty collection. And Haggerty is deciding that. Uh, they kind of are, are in with some kind of deal with Polyphon Digital. I'm Akil Hagerty and I'll be your advisor and guide to the collection. Here's the lineup of the cars currently available. 
go ahead, wander around and kick the tires, then, uh, then it will be your turn to take the wheel. Okay. Okay. Wow, 90-40. That's not bad. Oh, the Tommaso. That's nice. They've got the first Porsche. Beautiful. Okay. I love the GTO. Beautiful car. <laughs> it's sold out. That's cool. Ferrari 400 Mondial Pini Farina Coupe 54. I even didn't know that something that existed. And 330. 9 millions. That sounds cheap. Nothing I'll be buying today. Uh, actually, nothing I'll be doing in Gran Turismo anymore today. So I want you all. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good rest of the day. See you.